We're back here this weekend as we come head to head with Norwich City. Now, Tuesday's performance filled the gaffer with encouragement and whilst it was a special occasion at Old Trafford for Ollie, it's all guns blazing for this weekend. We ended up with nothing, so of course it was a disappointing night. It was a strange night, of course, because you get the reception from the home fans and our own fans, so it was a... I can't, I'm not going to sit here and lie, of course, it was a bit special. But I, I, what was the best bit about it was the way we handled the ball. We handled ourselves. Bad start again, uh, but we really did well uh, coming into the game. And start of second half again, I thought we had them on the back foot. And, but then Ashley Young scored a great finish. Their fans gave you a great reception. But what about our fans? Vocal as ever yeah. on the. Uh, and, and that night. was great because we managed to keep. Uh, the United fans quite quiet uh, with uh, because I think we we kept the ball so well and they didn't really have too much to shout about so our fans are I have to say they are uh, fantastic so passionate and they support their heroes so they'll have to be there again on Saturday against Norwich you, you never want to say we have to but you need you need to get points on the board because if not You'll get too, the distance will be too far uh, to catch teams up uh, in the end. Now it's still so tight in this league, so with a few good uh, results now in, in February, I think we're, um, we're ready to, uh, to kick on. We've had January now to get to know each other, sign a few players. The way I see us playing now compared to what we did when we came is a big difference. I think we can set a stamp on the, on the games, but then now we need to add that little spark if you like, the creativity, that little oomph in the last third. And more to come from the gaffer later in the show. Oh Kev McNaughton, you are the love of my life. Oh Kev McNaughton. Well he's back and he spoke to us ahead of Norwich. I think uh, we've got a run of games now where um, we can have a real go at it. Try and get ourselves out of the sort of position we've got ourselves in. We've had, like I say, three tricky away ones. Um, and obviously it's, we find ourselves bottom of the league, but we know a couple of wins gets us right back out of there. Um, and definitely with the running games we've got now, we, you know, we've definitely got a chance of doing that. But I think we go in every game looking to win. Um, whether it's, I think we've shown earlier in the season against Man City that you know we go to win games. You know, we don't we don't set up to not to lose games. Uh, we definitely go out there to win games. So uh, in my short sort of spell over the last few weeks. Um, We've set up that way, you know, we've tried to be positive and we'll try to be positive again in the next few weeks. Um, obviously the onus is on us a bit more to try and to attack and try and, you know, put pressure on the other team a bit more. Um, and we'll go on to the game and try to do that. We've got players that can do that. So. As we say, Ben Vindo to the first Brazilian to wear a Cardiff City shirt. Can Fabio be the man to bring the spark back to the stadium? I'm very happy and very excited to, to start training this morning and to, to help guys. Uh, were you at Old Trafford on Tuesday for the Man United Cardiff game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah I watched the game and, and I support Cardiff. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And of course, we, we all know you as an attacking fullback. You like to get forward, you like to get the ball in the box, an exciting sort of player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brazilian fullback. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I learned, I learned a, lot, a lot of things in. in, in I'm here seven, seven years and a half, so yeah. I'm learning a lot of things, but it's, that's my, my nature. I go forward and I attack, and that's, that's, that's me. I heard about the, the fans and the stadium, and I know it's going to be great. We also caught up with KTC this week, ahead of a busy month at home. So we had good game, bad game, and... Um, it's football, you know, but um, this sat on Saturday we play against Norwich and uh, we expect to win and give the best because we want to stay in Premier League and we are confident. Fraser Campbell joined the Community and Education Foundation at the House of Sport this week to celebrate with the learners of our Truth About Youth course. 
The programme that was held in conjunction with the Prince's Trust and funded by the Cooperative Foundation has run over a three-week period and was rounded up with the pupils of Ninian Park Primary School taking part in a session as led by our learners. Of the 15 participants, all of whom have faced challenges in their own right, seven will receive a three-month placement with the Foundation. We spoke to Fraser and Department Manager Richard Archer about the day. We're running out of programme today with the uh, Princess Trust Get Into Sport and Leisure. We've invited Ninian Park Primary School down for a mini sports festival. Our um, work experience coaches who are on the Princess Trust course have led the sessions today and have uh, delivered to the children. It's been a fantastic occasion. Really appreciative of Fraser Campbell coming down today. It's fantastic to get support from first team players. You know, the football carries a lot of weight in this area. You know, we're in the Premier League now. The Princess Trust obviously do a lot in the, in the country. So um, it's good that you can work together and help some of the youngsters that are, you know, might be struggling a little bit and work through football. And it's a department you're particularly close with, isn't it? Social inclusion, the ambassador? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that, you know, come down and help out whenever I can. Uh, no, the, the, the club's very proud to, to be involved in it as well, so it's, it's, um, everyone's happy and hopefully we can help the people of the community. The gaffer has said it himself, we need a bit of oomph and a bit of triumph in our performances. Could he be that guy? Kenwin Jones, could you be the guy to put the oomph into triumph? <laughs> Uh, well, no pressure, you know. But um, yeah, um, it's it's it's. I think as as the manager, he um, realizes that you know the team needed you know a few pieces to it, and I think he's gone out there to try and get those few pieces. And you know, I'm happy that I'm one of those pieces. And hopefully, um, come the game Saturday, you know, we could the team could gel and we could you know have a, a, a great time and win the game. Now we're gonna see a somersault if you score. Well, it all depends. It all depends <laughs> what we'll see. Your name is a name that's been linked to Cardiff, believe me, over a couple of seasons now. Finally, you've made the move to South Wales. You must be looking forward to getting out on that pitch now. Against oh, Norwich. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking forward to playing football. Um, you know, the game coming up on Saturday is a perfect game for us to, to, to try and win at home. It's um, the beginning of um, a series of home games at home and definitely at this point we need the points and I'm just happy to be here and play with the boys and try and, and win a few football games. It's difficult with only three months of the season left to, to, to make plans of what you want to do but obviously you're a goal scorer, you must be desperate to uh, put the ball in the back of the net for Cardiff City. Yeah well it's all about you know trying to, to, to be on the end of things and, and gain chances to, to score. Um, looking at the team on, on, on Tuesday night I think the team has you know, what it takes to, to, to stay in the league and also to, to not just stay but, you know, to try and, and, and push up a little bit and hopefully with the signings that's, that's come in we'll be able to do that. Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh, it's the magic of Cardiff City Stadium and I tell you someone else who's got a few tricks up his sleeve. New signing, Wilfred Zaha. I've seen a couple Cardiff games and play good football here to be honest, they're just lacking in front of goal really, but as a team they play really well. How about Tuesday's game, what do you think about that? Same again, just in front of goal really, just that spark in front of goal, that's what the team needed, but I'm sure now a couple, couple signings and I'm sure I'll try, to, I'll try to do my best and help the team as well. And how much of an influence was the gaffer on uh, your arrival here? Um, to be honest, I heard a lot about the gaffer actually that he's a great guy and he'll help me out and he's what I need and stuff so I thought, you know what, why not and I heard so much about him so I'm, I wanted to come and see how it is. I'm going to enjoy playing with everyone really because I've, I've played basically so many games against Cardiff already and I just know exactly how the team plays so I'm looking forward to it. And Ollie spoke about his approach to Saturday's game and the importance of three points to both sides. We meet a team that's been really uh, solid defensively lately. They've not really conceded many goals. They nil nil against uh, Newcastle. They beat Hull one nil. Drew in the cup against Fulham nil nil at home. I think they did. So they've found a way of. They're very solid defensively. So of course we've got to knock on the door all the time. We've got to be on the front foot, start the game like we did against Sunderland. Uh, just before uh, the new year uh, and 
I think we'll be fine because we'll get the crowd going then. Hopefully it'll be a football game, not like the West Ham that we had a bad injury and it was stop and start and that never got going that game. So today we're gonna, no, Saturday we'll, we'll hope to keep the ball moving, get the rhythm to our passing, score goals. You spoke about this added spark. Now the past week we've, saw, we've seen the arrival of Fabio, yep. uh, Kenwin and Zaha I believe. Yeah, Wilf uh, was here this morning now, so now we've got the three extra players with, they've all got special talent. They've all got something that they can make a difference. Fabio is an attacking fullback who creates chances, he scores goals. Uh, Wilf, of course, we know with from Crystal Palace uh, last year at, at Man United on England under 21s. He's an immensely talented football player who delight the fans, uh, keep them keep them on the edge of the seat. Just need to get his confidence back, his enjoyment of playing football, and he's he'll be he'll be very very good for us. And Ken Win is already lit up the dressing room. He's, he's a character, he's a personality that everyone loves. He's strong, he's big, he'll score goals for us. And are the three of them in contention to play on Saturday? Definitely, yeah. We've got a training this morning now to see them, see uh, the fitness levels. And of course, we, we need to look at the ones who've played Bolton and uh, United now. It's, it's been a tough uh, three or four days for them. Talking about fit players, how are you looking for injuries going into the weekend? Mark uh, Hudson, he got a uh, tweak in his hammy, so he'll be out. Uh, apart from that, I hope Jordan's recovered from his stomach cramps. He was feel feeling poorly. He did so well as well against United, uh, so I, but I had to take him off. But apart from that, we've still got Matthew Connolly and Andrew Taylor injured. Don Cowie is still not 100% recovered. So there's still one or two to come back in, but uh, most of the squad is fit.